So some huge news dropped this morning regarding Project L. If you've been following anything uh, around Project L, you'd know that they last gave an update around last December. Uh, so this morning, Tom Cannon dropped a video just before Evo. As you know, Evo is this weekend. So keep your eyes peeled. Watch your favorite games. Uh, pools, top 64, top 8, whatever. But this is huge news when it comes to fighting games as well. Uh, as you know, Multiverses just came out, and it's completely free. All the characters can be earned by just playing the game, so it just makes it more accessible for people to play, which is amazing, because as much of a niche genre fighting games are, I feel like making fighting games free to play is a, a step in the right direction. Uh, definitely in order to get more people into uh, fighting games and Project L will have um, easy to learn controls but the game will have a lot of depth and hard to master so they're trying to welcome in all skill levels as possible so I'm really looking forward to Project L it'll be another game I'll be covering so uh, keep your eye out on this channel regarding Project L gameplay. So here I'll show you the full video without my commentary. Enjoy. Hey folks, Tom here, back with a quick update on Project L, Riot's upcoming 2D fighter. Last November, we dropped an update showing off some core game concepts and our rebooted art style. Honestly, showing off the game this early was a little scary. And we're grateful that so many of you are so excited about Project Owl. God, that was so sick. Your reactions and excitement gave us the reassurance that we're headed in the right direction. Yes! Yes! In this update, I'll talk about what's been happening in the team over the past few months and what's coming next. Last time, I shared that we've honed in on our gameplay as an assist-based fighter with two champs per team. We're finishing up our work on core mechanics now, and a lot of the team has moved on to building champions or building around game features like competitive play and our social systems. One of our goals is to remove as many barriers as possible from you enjoying Project L. We want you to be able to play no matter where you live, what your skill level is, or how much money you have to spend on a game. To that, I'm happy to confirm that Project L will be free to play. If you've played a Riot game before, this probably won't come as a surprise. Our team is made up of fighting game veterans and folks who are passionate about serving the FGC. And we operate with one approach. If we wouldn't like it, we won't do it. When it comes to monetization, we promise to be respectful of both your time and your wallet. Also, the team has put together a blog post to give you a sneak peek on development of a new fighter in Project L, Elawi the Kraken Priestess. The spiritual leader of her people, Alawi is a physical powerhouse who tests the strength of souls for her tentacle god. Check out the post for more details on how we're approaching character development and how Alawi will look and play in Project Dow. That's all from me for now, but I'll be back later this year with one more update. Before I sign off, this weekend is Evo. To everyone heading out to the event, stay safe, good luck in the tournaments, and try not to drown in pools.